fact that so many of the Space Command leaders were here tells you that it's not only valuable for government, people like me and my company, but that the government operational leaders see the value of this dialogue as well. Hello, Space Watchers. Uh, this is Space Cafe Radio, your channel about trends, game changers, and key conferences within the space sector. I'm Emma, the senior editor and host of Space Cafe Italia, Space Watch Global. And in this episode, I will bring you the insights and jest of the sixth Prague Space Security Conference, held in Prague between the 19th and the 21st of June of 2022. The conference is organized by PSSI, the Prague Security Studies Institute, and is part of a series of high-level international space security conferences designed to advance decision-making within the security domain among allies. This is an unclassified gathering of military allies and national security experts, and it's very unique in its style and content, because it openly discusses about security issues related to the current geopolitical climate with people directly involved with dealing with security issues. In particular, this year's theme was the global space competition, security, markets and sanctions. It dealt with China, Russia, the imposition of sanctions on space companies, risk assessments, partnering arrangements, and of course, space behavioral norms from a defense point of view. My guest today is Joe Dodd, Senior Vice President and Corporate Development of LinkQuest Corporation, which was one of the sponsors of the conference. Enjoy the listening. Joe, thanks a lot for being here with me today. It was a pleasure to see the organization of the conference. Why do you think that it was important to organize this type of conference in this specific uh, historical moment? Space is more important than ever. Investment in space is in some ways exploding, commercial and uh, civil and international and national security. Unfortunately, we we face a threat from two nations that's it's a shared threat to democratic societies, I think, around the world. And I'm from the United States. The United States has realized that international partnerships and beyond partnerships, collaboration and cooperation, meaning operating together, is very important to help ensure the overall effectiveness and this kind of dialogue and opportunity to meet your partners enables that kind of deeper collaboration that is so important for us. And do you think that PSSI conference has been able to create this environment of collaboration, has been able to facilitate this process? Yes, in fact, I think somewhat uniquely, there are a lot of conferences that occur all around the world that focus on space. Some of the unique attributes here are that it's relatively small. It's in a wonderful venue that allows for great dialogue. It's attended by senior leaders, mainly senior government industry leaders. And there's plenty of time during both the program, the breaks, the nice events, the reception, the dinner, to have conversations with people that are sometimes very difficult to have, especially if you're from industry. A lot of times the senior government commanders and leaders are hard to get on their calendar. I think that the fact that so many of the space command leaders were here tells you that it's not only valuable for government and people like me and my company, but that the government operational leaders see the value of this dialogue as well. They are always in demand. They could work 24 hours any day. They've chosen to take a day or two or even three days to spend time here. That says a lot about the value and benefit that they see. Which were your things were the major take-home point of the conference? Certainly both because of the Russian invasion of Ukraine a few months ago and the increasing investments that China in particular, but Russia as well, have made in efforts to counter U.S. and allied national security space capability. In some ways, it's not just threatening, but increasingly frightening. And so it's important to have dialogue to uh, understand how to better use one another's capabilities. You know, 10 or 20 years ago, it would principally be the U.S. talking about what we're doing and maybe sharing some of our capability or some of our data with someone else. Now we've moved beyond that, call that just communication phase, to collaborating and partnering and in many ways cooperating, where not just cooperation, but from an operational perspective, it is a joint function. Unfortunately, in some ways, this venue was very well timed because this is dialogue that needed to be held. And of course, it's now beyond COVID, so we could have direct personal meeting as well, and there's no substitute for being able to meet in person. Okay, so we are here. We created this platform of collaboration, co-sharing. The willingness is here. We saw it 
How do you think the PSSI of this conference can keep on? I wouldn't recommend changing the recipe a whole lot. I think that the structure of the panels, the topics, the people who were invited to be on the panels and to moderate was the right mix of, again, senior leaders from government and from industry. I suspect that in a year or two, whenever it is that we meet again, the threats will be even greater, unfortunately. But on the more positive side of the ledger, I'm very optimistic, I'm nearly certain, that the level and degree and depth and breadth of collaboration will have expanded even further. And it's not just in the case of the U.S., it's not just Commonwealth states. It's not just Commonwealth plus France and Germany and Japan. We had representation here from many other countries. We're meeting in the Czech Republic. We heard about Czech technology. And so I think it's very exciting that we see this convergence of shared interests from a national security perspective, but also see the ingredients of investments being made in commercial space and how both public and private institutions are more invested in space than ever. So we're creating a much larger ecosystem of shared interests in space. So the winning recipe is fantastic venue, senior representative, and uh, an involvement of the global allies coming from Europe, the US, and Japan. So that yes. allows to create a more solid platform of communication. Yes, exactly. And my experience has been that when you hold meetings like this, It's easier just to hold a conference where you invite hundreds or thousands of people, you host it in a nice place, and people speak to the audience. They broadcast, and then I receive. But it's not dialogue. It's a monologue. Here, it's a much smaller venue, more senior people, in a wonderful setting, with the right kind of structure and the right kind of planning that went into the program so that it is very substantive. Fantastic. Joe, it was a pleasure. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks for listening to Space Cafe Radio on Tour in Prague. This episode was supported by PSSI, the Prague Security Studies Institute, which organized the sixth Space Security Conference and the entire PSSI Space Security Conference series, launched in 2011. If you want to keep the pulse of the space industry, please visit our website at spacewatch.global and subscribe to our newsletters. And of course, don't forget to become a space watcher. I'm Emma Gatti, Senior Editor of Spacewatch.Global, your independent perspective on space. And this is it for today. Ciao.